So you've been at center now since 2003, defensive as a coach, I mean. And before that, you played here. You went over to Europe and coached a little bit. But I just want to tell you, man, I'm just glad you're back with us right now. Hey, this, thank you. After this past summer, I wasn't sure. So, so tell us a little bit about when your team was over in, in Ireland playing and after that and the accident that you were involved in. Tell me a little bit about how it happened that you were on the cliffs there in Ireland. That and was that. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal trip. The fact that we do that is... Um, Shoot, number one, it's it's the best team bonding, the best you know morale spike you're gonna you're gonna be able to manufacture. We come closer together, we get all those extra practices. It, it's an amazing deal that we get to do it. Still in, you're in an environment that yeah, it may be a once in a lifetime opportunity, which we wanted to give our players and that uh, that setting. Anyone that's ever been there, the Cliffs of Moher, it's absolutely breathtaking. You hear about somebody falling off the Cliffs of Moher, that's that doesn't happen. We were fortunately not on the top of the Cliffs of Moher. We had taken, they call it the goat trails, had gone down around, and we were at the bottom. We were walking along the seashore, and there was a, I, you know, I'm guessing 20, 30, you know, the doctors say probably closer to 30, you know, 30 foot embankment that was, it was a rock face, but it was on the edge of the grass. So pretty wet is the only thing that we can kind of guess is, um, you know, close to the trail, but yeah, it, it was it was a really neat experience, neat hike. The the blessing in it and the fortune that we had is that the players there were there were three or four players, two of which heroes. I mean, just phenomenal. You know, act of courage and composure in the face. You can imagine seeing somebody go off the edge of something, and I mean, they kept it together, kept and their and cool. Colin Burnham and Cal Llewellyn. Colin and Cal, yeah. yeah. Colin Burnham, Cal Llewellyn, which are, they're cool customers on the field. Everybody sees them making great plays. They're uh -huh. really productive, all-conference, all-American type players. And, man, I tell you what, talking about the way we attack adversity and the way we, you know, keep our cool when the bullets are flying, it was pretty neat to see them live that out. And we, um, obviously, grateful as can be. I tell you what, some of the trails that we hiked and places that we went, in other parts of Ireland were, uh, in my opinion, they were more treacherous. They seemed more treacherous, which is probably the, the reason anyway. It was comfortable, comfortable setting. But coming down from the top, which like I said, is just breathtaking. You get to the bottom, you are, you're feeling comfortable, and it didn't seem very far. Kind of looking at, you would have thought, okay, it's not like you're, oh my goodness, I'm falling, falling, falling. It's, okay, how do you land this thing? And the issue we had, the seashore was boulders. You know, it was huge rocks that were just totally unforgiving. The landing was the issue there, obviously. That's what I told the guy, I told Colin, it's like, yeah, you know, I, I tied the uh, the shirt around because- You did it yourself? Oh yeah, the bones popped out, so- And you really- You, you needed to splint it or do something to it. It wasn't, it, it was, obviously you got your endorphins kicked in, your adrenaline's flowing, but I thought, the other leg feels great. We're gonna walk out of here on that one. And those guys, uh, they're like, ah, no, 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 we got you, coach, we got you. We're taking care of you. It's, it is a miracle. There are no cell receptions there. Um, yeah. Colin ended up getting a signal, which still nobody knows how, nobody knows what happened there, and saw a passing ship, saw a boat, and ended up somehow contacting that boat, saw a number on it, and they got in touch with the Coast Guard. It was, a, it was the most amazing thing I've ever heard of, which again, just kind of keeps we keep coming back to, okay, we're around, we're, we're sticking around here for a reason. We better make, you know, we're going we're gonna to make the most of this. That Things man. have been very, really, really sweet since then, you know. Now, now, I'm kind of wondering, you're there, you're hurt, but knowing you as I do, how long did it take it before it went through your mind, what am I going to tell Coach Fry? Uh, that wasn't as big as what are you going to tell your wife, okay, you know so what I mean? You were worried, okay, I wonder which one you'd be no, worried but about. It, no, immediately, that wasn't a worry. Obviously, Coach Fry and I have been through, goodness gracious, I mean, his first year as the head coach was my first year playing. That, that guy was about the most um, supportive and positive, and that was a, a comforting feeling, you know, having, okay. having the person you work for being such a, a strong, close relationship. That was actually great. It was really good. I, I would like to think I've got decent perspective. You know, things like this gold out game coming up and working with the, the kids with cancer, which is what my wife does. You know, she's okay. day to day, she's in oncology, pediatric oncology. I'd like to think I have a good grasp and, and a good perspective, but honestly, 
I'm forced to slow down. I mean, physically, literally, I'm slower. I slow down, and but I uh, emotionally, I haven't missed a beat. I'm in the same place I was. The, you know, just the urgency and the emotion that we all share, it's still there. I'm uh, maybe a little bit more reflective. You know, that that would be the thing as it pertains to the relationships with the players. And this is true. I am way more sensitive to injuries. Like when guys are injured, the emotions those guys are going through, the frustrations they're going through, and I'm a little bit uh, just more sensitive to reaching out and understanding, look, you're still part of this family, you're still contributing, we've got to do it in different ways. That, that's been a little bit more evident to me, yeah. Now, did the quarterback, Devin, did he change numbers this year? He's wearing Noah's number, absolutely, yeah. That's a, that's a he even went and visited, that, having a leader on your team like that, he went and visited him in Virginia, you know, that's where he uh -huh. lives, and I thought that was just, that, that's really telling. It's really telling of your leader is truly invested in the people around him. Once report date came, I'm so happy not to be thinking about myself anymore. You know, I get yeah. to invest totally in them and they're doing their thing and they're, it's, uh, it's the way it should be. It's really good. Well, glad you're back again. Craziest smart guy I've ever been around from high school, <laughs> um, but there's nobody quite like him. Glad you're back and healthy. About the greatest compliment I could receive. Thank you. Right, Appreciate buddy. it, sir. Yep.